Welcome to a world where everything you've ever believed to be true about emotional control is going to be called into question. Would you believe it when I told you that the emotional upheavals that come with daily life can truly be the secret to an unbreakable inner strength? Counterintuitive, but that's precisely what Stoicism exposes to us in this day and age. We're not just going to give techniques. Instead, we're going to take you on an unexpected trip of inner peace and self-discovery. Are you ready to learn secrets that will fundamentally change the way you perceive emotions and tranquility? Stay with us and learn how to comprehend control in order to rediscover the tranquility that is already inside you. The knowledge of the great Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and one of Rome's most famous emperors, reverberates across the ages, imparting a timeless lesson about life and human nature that gives us a fundamental understanding of you control your thoughts not external circumstances. Recognize this, and you'll gain resilience. This realization, though simple in its power, forces us to consider the boundaries between what is under our control and what is out of it. As we proceed on this path of awareness and acceptance, we discover that we have the power to control our attitudes and behaviors, and that we can decide how to respond, behave, and adopt a particular stance when faced with opportunities and challenges in life. This is the core of control. We are able to regulate our internal responses and the decisions we make. However, there are some aspects that are outside of our control. We are unable to predict the thoughts and feelings of others, and comprehending this distinction is essential to our mental peace and emotional health. Attempting to control the uncontrollable is akin to trying to hold the wind between our fingers, a task doomed to failure and frustration. With his stoic wisdom, Marcus Aurelius reminds us that our capacity to find serenity amid chaos, to accept the unacceptable, and to remain calm in the face of adversity gives us power. He exhorts us to let go of worries about things that are out of our control, and to concentrate on what we can control. Even while this lesson is straightforward, it is not simple. It calls for ongoing introspection, self-awareness, and practice. But by adopting this viewpoint, we can lead a more harmonious and balanced life. By internalizing this concept, we discover not only peace of mind, but also an endless source of inner strength. Second, living in the present, one of the most eminent Stoic philosophers and a well-known figure in ancient Rome, shares a teaching that resonates to this day with profound relevance. Marcus Aurelius believed that true strength was not in controlling the world around us, but in controlling oneself in the face of the world. Not because our time is limited, but rather because we squander so much of it. This assertion invites one of the main tenets of Stoic philosophy, is the idea of fully living in the present. Seneca teaches us to concentrate on the here and now because that is where life actually happens. This requires us to ponder thoroughly on how we perceive and appreciate new time, our most precious and limited resource. While the future is still mysterious and unclear, despite our best intentions, the past, with all of its memories and lessons, has already been written and cannot be undone. Every moment we live instantly becomes an indelible part of our personal history. We have no control over the future, thus it's open to fluctuations and unanticipated events. Sena encourages us to embrace the present moment with enthusiasm and mindfulness, because worrying too much about the future can cause us to miss out on the opportunities and beauties that are present in the here and now. This doesn't mean ignoring the past or the future. Rather, it means striking a balance and giving the present the importance and focus it deserves so that we can make the most out of every experience and learn from it, developing and appreciating life to the fullest. 3. Resilience in the Face of Adversity Epicus, an extraordinary figure in the history of philosophy, offers us a transformative perspective. Born a slave, he rose to the status of a respected philosopher, leaving us with valuable lessons. By living in the present, we follow Seneca's advice and make the best use of the time that has been given to us, finding joy and satisfaction in every moment of our existence. It's not the things that disturb us, but how we perceive them, is one of his most memorable sayings. This straightforward yet meaningful statement outlines a strategy for approaching hardship with a fresh perspective. 
Epicus reminds us that our experiences in life are primarily shaped by our interpretation of the outside world rather than by the events themselves. It is certain that we will face problems and barriers along the way, but how we respond to them shapes our path and our resilience as a person. To be able to face hardship, adjust to change, and come out of these experiences is a quality that is highly valued in Stoic philosophy. A more powerful and knowledgeable Epicus exhorts us to tackle issues and challenges with an attitude of growth and development, rather of seeing them as setbacks or unsurmountable hurdles. Through adopting this viewpoint, we become active actors in our own lives and change how we interact with adversity. Every challenge becomes a step towards our success. The Personal Development Ladder This shift in viewpoint is not just theoretical, but practical and useful in everyday life. When faced with difficult conditions, we can ask ourselves how can I interpret this in a way that strengthens me. Each obstacle is an opportunity to test and enhance our willpower, patience, and resolve. We follow Epictetus's guidance and start to construct a life distinguished, not just by surviving obstacles but by developing through them. So inspired by his wisdom, we ask ourselves, how can I use this situation to grow? Take a fresh look at life, one that enables us to see past outward manifestations and discover value and lessons in every encounter, no matter how difficult it may be. To be happy, one needs only the fourth virtue. The rich tapestry of ideas and values that make up Stoic philosophy gives us a profoundly revolutionary understanding of what the Stoics believe to be true happiness. They contend that developing virtue and internal attributes like justice and courage are the paths to true happiness, rather than monetary goods, social standing, or any other type of external pleasure. Wisdom and Moderation This Stoic viewpoint forces us to reconsider our traditional thoughts of happiness in a society that is frequently fixated on material gain and immediate fulfillment. Stoic wisdom encourages us to look for a more profound and long-lasting meaning in life. According to the Stoics, Virtue is a good in and of itself, and when we live virtuously, we experience a satisfaction that goes beyond momentary joys and accomplishments. Being just entails treating others fairly, honoring their rights, and upholding their dignity in a stoic manner. Justice is a dedication to moral righteousness in all of our dealings, not only following the law. Another pillar of stoic virtue is courage, which encompasses not just physical bravery, but also the moral fortitude to confront difficulties, endure misfortune, and stick to our convictions even when doing so is challenging or unpopular. The capacity to restrain our urges and desires in order to achieve a healthy balance in all facets of life is known as temperance or moderation. It teaches us to be content with what is sufficient and to abstain from excesses that can cause pain and unhappiness. Lastly, Stoic wisdom is a profound comprehension of life's nature that directs our decisions and deeds. By adopting these values, it entails having the capacity to distinguish between what is genuinely valuable and trivial, as well as between what is and is not under our control. In summary, for the Stoics, true happiness is not a state to be attained through external goods, but a way of life based in virtue and character. They believe that we can achieve lasting and meaningful happiness. This happiness is not merely a sensation of pleasure, but a profound sense of fulfillment that comes from living a good and meaningful life. And the fifth, the secret is simplicity. A Stoic philosophy's emphasis on simplicity provides a novel and opposing viewpoint in a world that is typically characterized by excess and complexity. Living simply means more than just reducing our physical possessions or avoiding rampant consumerism. It is a philosophy of life and a commitment to valuing what is truly important. This involves recognizing and appreciating the small things, the everyday joys, and the simple pleasures life offers. By focusing on the essentials, we free ourselves from the distractions and worries that often accompany the relentless pursuit of more. As a result, we discover not only mental clarity but also a deep sense of contentment and inner peace. In addition, Simplicity shows up in the way we live our lives and interact with others. It entails acting honorably, communicating the truth, 
and avoiding needless complications in our interactions with others. Furthermore, when we take a direct and uncomplicated approach, we make better decisions and act with more authenticity. In summary, simplicity fosters an attitude of appreciation and thankfulness for the abundance in our lives. This gratitude brings us a joy and satisfaction that the accumulation of material goods rarely can. Simplicity helps us cultivate gratitude by being content with what we have, rather than constantly yearning for what we lack. The secret to a happy existence is simplicity, which is not just a question of lifestyle but also a fundamental reorientation of our values and priorities. By eliminating the superfluous and appreciating the essential, we create space in our lives for clarity, contentment, and a better understanding of both the world and ourselves. This path not only results in a simpler life, but also one that is fuller of meaning and fulfillment. Sixth Degree of Emotional Independence Stoic philosophy places a high importance on emotional self-sufficiency, which serves as a potent reminder that our inner strength and serenity shouldn't be dependent on other people's acceptance or outside circumstances. True inner peace arises when we detach ourselves from the dependence on external circumstances and others' validation in a world where we are often influenced by events around us and by the opinions of others. This perspective encourages us to develop an internal fortress AS of calm and resilience that remains unshakable in the face of life's fluctuations and challenges. Emotional self-sufficiency provides us with a safe haven and a place of solitude that is all our own. This does not imply that we should ignore the outside world or the people in it. Rather, it means that we should acknowledge that we have a choice about how we respond to things and people. When we make informed decisions about this choice, we can keep our inner peace even in the midst of chaos. It takes work and self-awareness to achieve this emotional self-sufficiency, which entails learning to recognize and control our emotions, recognize our triggers, and develop an attitude of acceptance and composure. This frequently entails questioning ingrained mental processes and how we react to circumstances. A new perspective teaches us to believe in our own wisdom and capacity to overcome life's obstacles. This realization that our inner strength and serenity originate from inside, rather than continuously seeking approval or direction from others, is a vital component of this journey. This does not suggest a lone journey. The source of our emotional stability is within us, even though we can seek support and guidance along the way. By developing emotional self-sufficiency, we not only improve our capacity to handle adversity, but also find greater freedom from the confines of excessive concern with the outside world. This is a path of personal empowerment where we learn that no matter what happens, the key to our peace and strength has always been within us. Take charge of your life with the wisdom of history's greatest philosophers. Stoicism in the 21st century is your guide to resilience, well-being, and prosperity. Turn challenges into triumphs, stress into strength, and uncertainty. Click the link in the pinned comment right away to start your stoic path to prosperity and fulfillment. Obtain your ebook right now. Seventh Accountability Building a conscious and purposeful life requires a fundamental pillar, personal responsibility. Stoic philosophy and many other schools of thought emphasize this idea, which reminds us that we are the primary architects of our existence and that our life is largely the result of the choices, actions, and reactions we make. Assuming personal responsibility entails realizing that, in a society where it is customary to place the blame for problems on other people or outside forces, we actually have complete control over how we respond to the situations that are thrown at us. This viewpoint encourages us to examine ourselves and acknowledge that we are the main forces behind the events that shape our lives. It also means that, despite the fact that we are not in control of every situation that arises, we do have complete control over how we respond to it. By accepting accountability for our deeds and reactions, we play a leading part in our own narrative. Every choice we make and every action we take defines the route we pursue and the person we become. Accepting the results of our decisions is another aspect of personal responsibility. This principle also encourages us to be honest with ourselves and others. Being responsible also means having the integrity to admit mistakes, correct them, and learn from them rather than ignoring or hiding them. 
It also means facing consequences head on and using them as opportunities for growth and personal development. Ultimately, accepting personal responsibility gives us the ability to influence our own lives rather than feeling like victims of events or tragedies of fate. This realization gives us the sense of control and autonomy necessary to create a meaningful and fulfilling life. In summary, personal responsibility is much more than just a duty. It is a way of empowerment that allows us to take charge of our actions and reactions and embrace the power to mold our lives into true and authentic reflections of who we are and what we want to be. Eighth, the Stoic philosophy and many other wise sayings esteem the practice of contemplation as a potent and crucial instrument in the quest for self-knowledge and self-improvement. Habits The practice of introspection is not just an exercise in self-observation. It's an invitation to deeply understand who we are and how we act. By routinely reflecting on our experiences, choices, and reactions, we gain valuable insights into our thought patterns, underlying beliefs, and habitual behaviors. Diligently and consciously examining our thoughts, actions, and motivations on a daily basis is a crucial step towards personal growth and inner evolution. By examining ourselves, we can find areas in which we can grow, whether it be by strengthening our talents, adopting new attitudes that better suit us, or cultivating virtues like compassion, patience, or resilience. Understanding our advantages and disadvantages opens the door to ongoing, significant self-improvement. Furthermore, in our hectic lives, daily reflection fosters mental clarity and serenity. However, taking a minute to reflect and halt may be a potent remedy for the stress and rush of daily life, recharging our energy and reorienting our objectives and ideals. Reflection improves the quality of our relationships and social interactions by helping us better understand our own feelings and reactions, which in turn helps us understand others. This leads to a higher sense of empathy and understanding in interpersonal relationships. It can be easy to put in place a daily reflection moment. The key is to develop the practice of reflecting within, asking questions, and drawing lessons from our experiences. This can be done by journaling, practicing meditation, or just taking a brief break for silent reflection. In conclusion, the practice of reflection is a path towards greater self-awareness and a more aware and purposeful existence. By regularly examining ourselves, we not only become better versions of ourselves, but also enhance our lives with greater meaning, fulfillment, and purpose. Ninthly, community and empathy. While Stoic philosophy frequently emphasizes the value of self-control and independence, it also genuinely acknowledges and cherishes empathy, compassion, and our relationships with other people. The Stoics contend that realizing that we are each essential components of a greater community and an interrelated whole helps us to better comprehend our responsibilities and place in society. For the Stoics, empathy, the capacity to comprehend and experience another person's feelings, is essential to creating enduring bonds and thriving societies. Empathy is more than just being kind. It's an acknowledgement of our interconnectedness and humanity. By placing ourselves in other people's shoes, we deepen our relationships with those around us and broaden our perspective of the world. Compassion, in turn, goes beyond empathy. It's not just feeling what the other person feels, but also wishing to alleviate their suffering and acting accordingly. In the Stoic view, compassion is a manifestation of virtue, a reflection of, of our ability to see beyond ourselves and contribute to the well-being of others. Furthermore, the Stoics remind us that we are part of a larger whole, an ecosystem of interconnected human beings, where each of our actions can impact others. This awareness encourages us to act responsibly and considerately recognizing that our words, actions, and decisions have an effect that extends beyond our personal sphere. By cultivating empathy and compassion, the Stoics guide us to seek a balance between caring for our own well-being and the well-being of the community. This balanced approach allows us to live ethically and meaningfully, contributing to a more harmonious and supportive society. Therefore, Stoic philosophy, far from promoting emotional isolation or extreme individualism, actually encourages us to recognize and value our connections with others 
By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also contribute to the greater good of the community and humanity as a whole. Tenth, the importance of objectivity. The Stoic philosophy and many other schools of thought place a high value on objectivity, which emphasizes the significance of viewing the world realistically and accurately as it is, rather than as we would like it to be. This practical approach to life is essential for developing wise judgment and making well-rounded informed decisions. Recognizing and embracing reality in all of its parts without preventing our desires, biases, or emotions from skewing our perception is the essence of viewing the world objectively. This clarity of view is essential as our expectations and wishes frequently skew how we interpret the data, resulting in incorrect conclusions or dangerous behavior. Also, objectivity enables us to react to circumstances more skillfully and suitably. Furthermore, Adopting an objective perspective enables us to face challenges and difficulties more resiliently by confronting problems with a dispassionate and realistic view. By doing so, we are less likely to be overwhelmed by negative emotions like frustration, anger, or despair. Instead, we are able to maintain calm and clarity, which are essential elements in finding effective solutions. When we understand the circumstances as they truly are, we can better evaluate our options and choose actions that are truly beneficial and constructive for ourselves and others. While objectivity offers a clear view of reality, empathy enables us to connect with and respond appropriately to the needs and feelings of others. Ultimately, the pursuit of objectivity is a continuous process of self-knowledge and learning that involves acknowledging and challenging our own assumptions and biases. Nevertheless, Objectivity does not imply insensitivity or indifference. Rather, it can be combined with empathy and understanding to create a balanced and compassionate approach. Being receptive to fresh insights and knowledge, as well as prepared to modify our opinions and behavior in response to evolving knowledge. Therefore, the importance of objectivity in Stoic philosophy and in our day-to-day -day lives resides in its capacity to offer a firm basis for prudent judgment and efficient action. By making an effort to see the world as it actually is, we are able to gain a deeper comprehension of reality as well as the capacity to navigate life with greater wisdom and effectiveness. The Eleventh Acknowledgement of Death One of the most well-known emperors and Stoic philosophers, Marcus Aurelius, skillfully conveys the acceptance of mortality, a fundamental issue in Stoic philosophy. The idea that life, with all of its complexities and challenges, requires of us not only grace and fluidity, but also resilience and courage is encapsulated in the art of living, which is more like wrestling than dancing. This understanding includes accepting the inevitability of death, a fundamental aspect of the human condition that, when embraced, can enrich our experience of life. Accepting mortality is not a sign of hopelessness or resignation, but rather of a clear understanding that life is limited. This knowledge can serve as a strong inspiration to live life to the fullest. Since life is short, we may feel compelled to make the most of it by cherishing our relationships and looking for deeper meaning in our actions. Authenticity and purpose also help us maintain a healthy perspective on the difficulties we face when we acknowledge that life is fleeting. Numerous issues that appear so pressing and significant can frequently be viewed differently and as smaller, more, manageable problems. This insight may also inspire us to live in accordance with our own beliefs and convictions. When faced with the fact that we are mortal, we could feel an even greater urge to spend our lives in a way that best represents who we really are, to leave a positive legacy, and to make a meaningful contribution to the world. Accepting our mortality also encourages us to be more grateful for life. When we realize that life's experiences are limited, we become more appreciative of its little pleasures and the wonders of the natural world. Simple joys and interpersonal relationships. Ultimately, the Stoic philosophy tells us that through accepting mortality, we learn to live a fuller and more meaningful life in addition to preparing ourselves for life's conclusion. Accepting our death can be a source of strength far from being a depressing idea. As we come to the end of our exploration of the timeless teachings of Stoic philosophy, reflecting on themes ranging from the mastery of the mind to resilience in the face of adversity, 
clarity and inspiration are helping us embrace life with more passion, determination, and joy. We invite you to continue this journey with us. Each topic covered is merely the tip of the iceberg in a huge ocean of knowledge that is just waiting to be thoroughly explored. By coming along, you'll not only increase your comprehension but also join a group of people who are interested in personal development and transformation. Please feel free to like, share, and comment on any of these teachings that really spoke to you. By doing this, you not only help our channel but also help spread the word about these important lessons. In our next films, we'll delve even further into the complexities of the human mind and heart. Don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss them. Follow us and let the wisdom we give change your life. See you soon.